FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento giving you the mid-afternoon update here at TFNN. Uh, we got the stock market under some pressure. Bonds are incredibly under pressure, as usual. They keep going lower and lower, very close to major support at 123.11, folks, in that uh, March Treasury bond. So sort of pay attention to that one. It's going to be very, very interesting because we'll be switching over to the December here uh, very, very shortly. I think it's just in a day or so that we'll be switching over. Uh, crude oil is up a little bit after being lower. Uh, there's news that China is trying to negotiate a truce between the Ukraine and the Russian governments, and I want to wish them the very best of luck with that. A 12-step piece, I think it was involved. I read some of them, and I said, gee, they seem a little far-fetched, but uh, you never know. Stranger things have happened. The other thing to pay attention today, folks, besides the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes, because much lower today, and we're going to be looking at sharply higher rates, much, much higher than some people think. I don't know whether that's going to happen or not, but you know, folks, nobody else does either. The thing is to watch the euro because we're getting we're below 106 and a half now. Unfortunately, I covered all my short positions from uh, 108 and 19 and 110 down there at that 10, uh, 106 level. Now we're going to be able to see what's going to happen to it uh, as we come into. Uh, early early March, which will be coming up, you know, very, very shortly. So that's what we're watching here today. I hope that helps. Uh, the gold market is still going lower, folks. We're getting really close to 1800 I think we're only about $14 away. That is a major ABCD pattern and also a 50% retracement. Remember, the 382 retracement came in at 1845 rallied for about six hours, and then continued to go lower. And uh, as we suggested, you know, once it went below 1838, that it was most probably going to be heading down to that level. And it, it gave you three or four really nice shorting opportunities if you had been watching them relatively closely. So I hope these things help as we give you a mid-morning update. Now, one thing that, that we want to be looking at today also is the Japanese yen, folks. And I'll be talking about that on my show coming up here in about three minutes. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see what happens. 877-927-6648. 